It's showtime, folks. The Bauer Show. News team, assemble! The Bauer Show is live now. I think it's yours just because you marked it with your urine. This is The Bauer Show. Welcome, welcome everybody to your Monday edition of Beer Half Full Bauer. I am Bauer. This is Miss Lucky Lou. We're going to be joined by Charlie Bauer in just a minute as well. She's going to come and hang out for her first, her debut episode of Beer Half Full Bauer. Uh, Lucky, as always, we want to remind everybody that you can log on to thebowershow.com slash shop, thebowershow.com slash shop, and get yourself a handy-dandy sweatshirt or a T-shirt here as we're kicking off, getting ready for 4th of July weekend, right? It's just around the corner. It's going to be so hot here. It, it, you're correct. In, in Texas, it's going to be very, very hot for 4th of July. Maybe not around the rest of the country, or maybe it will be where you are, but maybe you want to have something that you can put on after you get out of the pool or whatever it is that you're doing, uh, you'll be able to get that logging on at thebowershow.com slash shop. Thebowershow.com slash shop. All right, let's bring your sister in here real quick. Come on in, Charlie Bauer. Say hi to everybody. Here's the camera right here. Kind of bend yourself down. There you go. You can say hi to everybody. All right, Charlie's first time here on the show. What we like to do, Lucky, generally, what we like to do is start off with something. Why are you poking me with your ear over here? Sorry. Um, we like to start off with something we refer to as coronavirus twitter logic. logic that's just some form of logic that i find in my social media feed that makes some sense to us in a coronavirus world uh this comes from bad tan lines i used to be a competitive runner and occasional drinker but somehow they switched places along the way yeah that tends to happen in this kind of coronavirus world where you're trapped inside and you've got plenty of wine and beer vodka at your disposal right i mean you guys have seen it more than I might be a professional drinker now, for all I know. Really? Dad? I'm not competitive. Okay, maybe not professional. I don't get paid for it. But competitive? Oh, I am most definitely there. Seriously? Dad? Now, girls, we've moved into a new house here. So far, what's the one thing that you found when we moved in that was the scariest? The, the scorpion, right? We had a scorpion at the on our front porch right okay on the day that we were going to the community. now imagine you're at your house your brand new house there's your oven imagine something comes at you from under the oven on your brand new house try not to scream okay oh, look at this it's get, it gets kind of scary something's going to come out from under the oven and I it's going to be a it shock is. what is I it know what, it what is, is it a scorpion a scorpion no, what do you think it is, Charlie? Uh, I don't know. Out of the stove, from under the stove. Let's all watch, shall we? Don't scream. I'm right here. It's going to get in my ear. Okay, here we go. And then all of a sudden, oh, you see? Oh, oh, oh. It's a goat. It's a little baby goat that came out from underneath. How does a goat fit in? I don't even understand that. You just move into your house and all of a sudden the goat comes out wagging his tail. Way better than a scorpion, right? Way, we, wait, 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 wait. I wish we had a goat. I know. Goat. All we had was a lousy scorpion come out to our front. Although, the, I'll be to be honest, the scorpion did stop and look was, at us the whole time. He was time. like, he was wait, like, can can I come in, please? <laughs> I think he knocked on the door. I think that was the scorpion who knocked on the door for us. All right, Lucky. I know how much you like koalas. You have a stuffed koala. Have you ever seen a live baby koala eating lunch for the very first time? <laughs> Now, of course, Mommy's here showing the koala how to eat the eucalyptus leaf. He just wants whatever you got. I'll have a little bit of that, Mom. Now, look, here he goes. This is his first shot at it. You think he's going to like it? Oh, oh, he likes that eucalyptus leaf. Look at him using his little fingers, his little hands. <laughs> Look at those claws. That's kind of scary looking, if you ask me. That's some... They're supposed to look that scary. That's some sharpness going on right there. You think they're supposed to look that scary? Yeah, they're supposed to, because the one that, the one that I... Yeah? That stuffed one... You're stuffy? ...has the same um, long gra grabbing nails. Yeah, okay. All right, well, that makes some sense then. All right, I didn't know that about them, but clearly that's what they do to get their koala eats on, if you will. 
Now I've got one else. I, I don't know if you guys had ever thought you would see this in your lives. I know I never thought I would see this in my life. Have you guys ever seen animals fighting like on the TV shows, right? Nature shows, you'll see animals fighting. Oh, yeah. I've never seen two jackrabbits fight. And frankly, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I've, I've, Let's I've look seen at a fight. Like a TikTok that, a cat. Look at that. With the TikTok song is. They're just slapping like, each other. I'm just putting somebody in the face. <laughs> look at that. Look at they're just jumping on their back feet, <laughs> slapping each other in the face. <laughs> that looks like, like that's three <laughs> o'clock in the morning outside any bar in New York City. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! They just go faster and faster. Oh my god! I just want to make this note right now. If the UFC decided to put Jackrabbit fighting in the octagon to open up any of their title matches, I'd be all about it. I would oh love it. Look at they're still fighting. What do you think he said to the other one that got him so upset? Or she said to the other one? Um, there's this one TikTok song that goes with um um a cat fighting a dog is like, yeah. it's like, I'm going to step somebody in the face. I'm going to step somebody in, I'm going to go step somebody in the face. Never, never did I think I would see jackrabbits fighting in my entire life. And never did I think I would find it as entertaining as that. What? Jenna, I know you can see what I'm <laughs> All right, girls, we're going to wrap things up here on a Monday with another one of these awesome acoustic sessions from musicians who are quarantined and want to have an ability to play something. Now, this is Susanna Hoffs from the Bangles. She doesn't play with the rest of her band, but she does this as sort of a fundraiser. It was done about a month ago while we were on the road getting out here. So I thought I'd bring it to you guys as a fantastic performance. And then I've got one of Mommy's clients tomorrow that will be playing here uh, to wrap things up. But to wrap things up here for your Beer Half for Power, let's listen to Sus Susanna Hoffs from the Bangles play one of their famous songs, Eternal Flame. Everybody just sit back and enjoy a little bit here on your less than manic Monday, if you will. Close your eyes, give me a hand, darling. Do you feel my heart beating? Do you understand? Do you feel the same? Or am I only dreaming? Is this burning an eternal flame? I believe it's meant to be, darling. What you and you were sleeping, you belong to Do you feel the same? Or am I only dreaming? Or is this burning? Eternal flame, say my name. Sunshine through the rain, all life so lonely. You come and ease the bed pain. I don't want to lose this feeling. Oh, close your eyes. All right, that's it for us. We'll catch up with you guys tomorrow for a Tuesday edition of Beer Half Full Bauer. For Charlie, for Lucky, and myself, see ya. Bye. Do we feel the same? Or am I only?